wasn't real. What was your reaction to having this stable element 115 that wasn't even supposed to exist? Well, everything was impossible. Right. I mean, down down to the metal, I, I did get a chance uh, to look inside the craft on only one occasion. And this was important because um, where the reactor sat might have been critical to how it operated since Everything operates without any interconnection, so the placement of components might be critical. So they allowed me to go inside and and look at it. Um, shoot, again, I forgot where the hell I am. So you're going into this craft, and what are you thinking when you're inside of it? Like, what are you seeing? It's um, it's a very ominous feeling because it's there are no. At first of all, everything is one color. It's like a dark pewter color. And there are no right angles anywhere. It's as if somebody took, uh, I've said this before, somebody took a, a model out of, and fashioned it out of wax and then heated it just for a short time so everything melted. Everything looks like it's fused together. Everything has a radius of curvature where two uh, items meet. It's, uh, it's a really weird-looking thing. But um, uh, there was almost nothing other than a small foldable hatchway that um that looked recognizable everything was uh was really unworldly to pick on it <laughs> a way to describe it so you you get inside this thing and it's designed for something that's much smaller than a human being yeah you can't really stand up till you get to the very center of and it and how tall are you i'm 510 and what do you think this was designed for i'd say something close to half my height wow so these little three foot tallish creatures. Yeah, and it, the the seats were small too. I mean, obviously it was made, you know, for something something small. But there is no like there's there's nothing else in there. There's just seats, the reactor and some of the subcomponents. There's no there's no control panels, there's no bathroom, there's no no decorative uh components or artwork or anything that you would recognize or trim i mean it's just a very bare bones thing you're not and seeing any screens well there are archways around it that are part of the superstructure and that one of the archways can become transparent when i was in there there was another group working on one of the archways and you could call that a screen more or less so through that archway, it would be it would maintain the solidity, the the solid, whatever metal it was. Yeah, but you could yeah, see. Yeah, it through just it? became transparent. Yeah, I saw that happen once or twice before I left. Did you ask any questions about what the fuck? No, that there's was? no asking. There's questions. no asking questions. No, but when you watch something become transparent. And you realize it's still there, but you can now see through it. Yeah, I mean, uh, now that's not that impressive. We do have some liquid crystal materials that are like that. You know, they I've have seen that in smart glass. Yeah, yeah, they call it smart glass. So <laughs> this is just, uh, and I don't know if the craft is made of, you know, an advanced metal or a ceramic. It was cold to the touch. So, um, you know, I would lean and more again, towards a metal. You're not allowed to ask questions. No, the only they they work on the buddy system, so I can only exchange ideas and talk to Barry. Now this really interferes with science because science is based on free discussion, and ideally you get a bunch of guys together, exchange ideas, work on problems, and that's how things move forward. But they're so over the top concerned about security, they split everything off, and everybody becomes stagnant. It it. It, it it just destroys any of the progress you can make, or at least makes it go so slow. Um, they I think they wind up shooting themselves in the foot, which is probably why they arrived at this bottleneck that they needed to get this madman with a jet powered Honda to come in and see what he could do. <laughs> I think that was an act of desperation. I think they wanted someone that thinks out of the box and let let's just give this guy a try here because right. they weren't and uh, they might have done this four more times since. Uh, you know, up to the point in time today, assuming they're still working on this thing. And when you see this craft and you're inside, was there any indication that there was an area that they would use to control it, to pilot? Was there a pilot seat? Was there? S there were three seats. They sat around. Uh, the reactor was in the dead center of it, and then equidistant around there were three seats. So, and that's all. The there was a. Uh, a large you would 
They're not consoles. They're large rectangular objects, also spaced, equidistant around the center. Um, there's nothing on them. There's no buttons. There's no lights. There's and no control. And they look the same color, the same Everything thing. is the same it's color. It's just a different shape. Right. And um, directly underneath them, there's three levels in the craft. Uh, the main level is what we're talking about. Directly under that, those are the gravity amplifiers, the big rectangular objects. Underneath them are the gravity emitters that look like, for lack of a better word, a trash can hanging on a pipe, three of those. And then the top layer, I, this is just my personal belief, I think that has to do with a, uh, a navigation or their version of a computer uh, with some planar panels, sensor panels around the craft that we would call portholes, but they're not portholes, they're just black areas. And I think that just determines its you know, position in space. But I was, I, I physically was in the center section and I stuck my torso in the bottom section and hung upside down so I could see how the gravity amplifiers were positioned. What is the, the roughly the size of this thing? It's, a, I think it, I don't remember from being there, but um, after all this stuff was over, I had uh, John Andrews, a guy from the Testers Model Corporation, and, you know, we sat down and tried to figure out from what I saw um, and known sizes of things. And we came up with 52 feet in diameter. And so I it's think fair, that's fairly a, small. Yeah. So I, th I think that's a fair, a, a reasonable guess. 